Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'll show how you can create your own rhinestone fill patterns in Inkscape using tile clones with Trace. The image that you plan to trace can be sourced from various places. For example, this palm tree silhouette is one of my existing cutting files. This palm tree is an image. Just show these and I don't recommend these if you're just learning. I actually used a photo to create a rhinestone design and here's a few examples of text. Now in the video I can't go through all of these. All I can do is show you the basic steps and then you can experiment and see what you can create. For the first example I'm just going to use this image. It's very important when creating rhinestone designs is to start with an image of the correct size. As I want my finished palm tree to be 200 millimeters tall, I'll change the height now. So I'll just change that to 200. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle to place behind this tree. I'm just going to change the color. Normally I change this to white, but I'm just going to change it to a pale pink for the video. Then place it behind the palm tree. Now this rectangle, it doesn't matter where you place it or how big it is, just needs to be bigger than the image you're tracing. It might sound strange, but it should make a bit more sense in a few minutes. Now I need to draw a circle. This circle needs to be slightly larger than the rhinestone I plan to use, because this design will be a stencil when I cut it out, and I can place the rhinestones in the circles that have been cut. So I'll just resize this. It's a little bit too big. Now at the moment I've got a fill and no stroke. I'm going to leave it like that for this example. I know some people like to work with a stroke only. It's a little bit different and I'll just explain it after I've shown the basic steps. What I must do before I go any further is unset the fill. So on the fill colour I'm just going to right click and unset the fill. Then with the circle I'm just going to place it above the palm tree or just touching the palm tree and just to the left. Now I need to make some tile clones. So I'll go edit, clone, create tile clones. As I'm not sure what settings I've changed here, I'm just going to click on reset so I can start afresh. Symmetry, I'm going to leave it P1, simple translation. Shift, I'm going to change the settings here to change the spacing between each circle. After doing some research, apparently the ideal size between each rhinestone is half the size of the rhinestone. And as I'm working with percentages, that will mean 50%. So at Shift X in column, I'll enter 50%. At Shift Y for row, I'll enter 50%. Of course, if you want a closer spacing, you use a smaller number. If you want a larger spacing, you use a larger number. Now, the only other tab that I need to change settings is Trace. I'll tick the box, Trace the drawing under the tiles. At number one, I'm going to select color. No changes at number two. At number three, tick the box color. Now, rows and columns, that's going to change depending on your project. I wouldn't suggest you enter a really large number and fill the whole page. As you're working with a small circle, you're going to create lots of clones and it will take a long time to create them. So I usually just aim for enough to cover the image I'm tracing. Now I don't think 30 by 50 is enough, but I'll just give it a try. Okay, I've definitely got enough across. Do I have enough? No, I don't have enough here. So I'll just make this a little bit smaller. I might change that to 30 and I might change rows to 70. Then click on create. Now I can see I've got a circle at the end of the palm tree and across the bottom row. So I've actually got enough circles to cover this design. But there's something I want to show you, so I'm just going to deliberately add a few more. So I'll just change this to 40. Don't know if you noticed, but the tile clone box just disappeared. I find it quite frequently does disappear. 
don't worry, it will return. Don't know when, but it will return. Anybody who's worked with tile clients before, you'll know that these are clones and they linked to the original. To unlink them, I'm just going to delete the original and it's the one selected. This rectangle has served its purpose. I no longer need it, so I'm just going to delete it. You can see here that I've got pink circles where I had the pink rectangle. These are a bit harder to see, but I've actually got green circles on the green. I've got brown circles on the brown. If you look to the right, these circles that formed off the rectangle, they're black. Now they're still the unset color. You can see at the moment that I've got lots of circles in nice neat rows and columns, but I've got way too many. I want them to look like this palm tree. So I'm gonna to have to start deleting and to speed up that process, I can use Find. So I'll hold down the Control key and press F. And I get this box, Find. Now I'd like to get rid of these pink circles, so I'm going to select a pink circle. On the Fill color, I'm going to right click and copy the color. In Style, I'm going to paste the color. Now when I click on Find, it should find every other circle that's the same color. So I'll just click on find and see what happens. You see here, all those pink circles are selected. All I need to do is press delete. I'll clear. Now I'll select one of these black unset circles at fill. I'll right click, copy the color. In style, I'll paste. Then I'll click on find. You see what's happened this time, it's selected every circle. And that's the reason I draw a rectangle and place it behind the image. If I hadn't drawn the rectangle, I would have had unset circles all the way up to the palm tree. And I wouldn't have been able to use find to help me select the circles and delete them. When you draw the rectangle, just don't select a color that's in the palm tree. Like I wouldn't have used another shade of green because you can see where the two colours bordered each other, I've got all these graduated shades of colour. So if I'd have used another green, these circles along the border would have been much harder to see. By using two different colours, I can quite clearly see circles that aren't part of the image. Now I don't think it'll work in this design because I seem to have a lot of different colours. Depending on what you're tracing, sometimes you can use find a little bit more. So I'll just clear it. I'll select a circle because these look very similar to each other in colour. Follow the same process. I'll right click, copy the colour in style. I'll paste the colour and find. Let's have a look. Hasn't found any more. So I'll just delete. I'll close this box. Now I need to still get rid of some more. Now some are quite easy to find. These obviously aren't part of the image, so I can just delete them. Some are half on, half off. Now with a simple design, I find you're much better off leaving the ones that are half on, half off. But really, the final decision is yours, and it depends what you want the finished project to look like. What I often do is select all the circles and change them to one colour. And I just find that's easier to find them. Of course, you don't have to do that. But I just thought I'd show it just in case you're like me and have a little bit of trouble trying to visualise what the finished design will look like. So from this stage, it's really down to making a few decisions of what you want to keep and what you want to part with. So I've just changed my mind. I think I'll keep them. These are obviously wrong, so I'll just delete them. I'll leave that for the moment. To get rid of all these unset colour circles, I'll just select them and delete them. What I'm going to do at this stage is move the palm tree aside and have a look at the design. I actually think that's okay. Then again, I think it could do with one more there. So I'll just duplicate and move it up. Now if that looked complicated, it really isn't. After doing a few, you'll find they really are quick and easy. So let's just do another one and I'll use the silhouette palm tree and we'll do the stroke line.
Once again, we'll start by resizing the palm tree. So I'll make it 200 again. I'll draw a rectangle slightly larger than the palm tree. I'm going to change it to white, send it to the back, then I'll draw the circle. Now with this circle, I want to work with the stroke line just to show you what the slight difference is. Now if you like working with the stroke line, start with the stroke line. Don't change between fill and stroke. And I'll just show you why. At the moment, I've got a fill only and the size is 8.787. Now if I add a stroke line, just make it in red, you see the size has changed. With some designs, you might get away with this, but it could affect the pattern. So if you want to work with the stroke line, start with the stroke line. To make it easier, you can leave the fill because you can add and remove a fill and it will not alter the size. So we'll just have a look. At the moment, it's 9.069. I'll remove the fill and the size didn't change. So let's continue. I'll resize this to 2.8. Now I need to unset this colour. As I'm working with a stroke, I'll unset the colour in stroke. If you're working with fill and stroke, don't forget to unset the colour on both. But as I'm only working with one, I'll just right click on stroke and then select unset stroke. And you watch what happens. I can't see it and I can't move it. So if you're working with stroke only, I suggest you place the circle, then unset the fill. Or in this case, I can just use the arrows on the keyboard. Then I'll open Tile Clones. So I've got Edit, Clone, Create Tile Clones. Now I shouldn't need to change settings because this palm tree is the same size and the circle I'm using is the same size. So I'll just click on Create. Just check I've got enough. Yeah, I've got more than I need. I'll delete the original circle. This white rectangle has served its purpose. I'll delete it. I do have lots of white circles, but they're really hard to see. I'm going to use Find to help me get rid of them. So on the keyboard, I'll hold down Control and F to open the Find. I'll just select a circle. Even though you can't see them, all you need to do is click in the region and you're pretty much guaranteed of selecting one. At Stroke, I'll right click, Copy Colour, Style, I'll Paste Colour, then Find. While they're all selected, I'll delete. I'll close Find because it won't help anymore. Just delete all these unset circles. Let's have a closer look. This time, as I have so many circles that are graduated shades of grey, what I might do is select them all and change the stroke colour, just to make it easier to see them. So I might change it to red, then zoom back in. You just see that they're easier now to find. When you've finished your project, you can change the colour. I won't spend any more time on this because the process is the same as what I showed just before. All I wanted to do was show the difference if you're working with a stroke opposed to working with a fill. So I've shown the very basics and the principle is the same whether you're using an image, text or a photo. And remember you don't have to do it exactly the same as the way I show. The idea is to just give you the basics so you can experiment and find a style that suits you. Hope you have fun. Thank you.